We'll get the second game of their series started here at Buckeye Field on the campus of Ohio State University. Hi. Rock gets the first strike out of the day, just like that. One, two, three. And Jade Moy walks to the double. It's all about one game at a time, and they took it to the Buckeyes yesterday, seeing if they can get up a quick 2-0 and take the series today. Ball goes right over to Farley, and the second out over to Rodriguez. Offense, so seeing here at the three hitter with two outs, seeing if she can get something on the board and seeing if can get something going here. A Cesaretta with 36 hits this season. And she lines one in the right field, make it hit number 37 for Alex Acesaretta. She's going to second base, a dangerous run, and she Lining one in a left shallow field. Adi comes in from center field, and that's going to be an RBI single. And already Acesaretta getting home off of McFadden, RBI single. 3-2 count here with one on. Way outside. And Lawshar will go down to first base. McFadden advances to second. Nuss launches one. But Adi's going to be there to get the third out. However, Purdue gets the nod today. And Rodriguez launches one to center field. But Dylan's under that one to get out number one. They couldn't do it yesterday once they finally went down those three runs after Purdue got the bat. Times going to bat for the Buckeyes. Right over to Wimpy and out number two, just like that, a routine play over to first base. Ohio State. With two outs, Wimpy sends the pitch down the lane and ball number four, quarter cracks goes down to first and up is Sam Hackenbrack in the four spot. The box, something she's been really great at. And like you said, Sam Hackenbrack now quickly coming up to bat. D3 this season. And Hackenbrack over to Jones at shortstop. And the Buckeyes batters couldn't get much going. One runner left on. Bailey bunts it over to Nori. Not in time, it looks to be. And a successful bunt for Bailey. Advancing the runners couldn't get there, but you see the speed on display. That the season's coming to a close soon and trying to get every win as possible. And another bunt there going foul for George. Ready for Purdue in the top of the second inning. It's Kiara Dillon, the center fielder, can play some softball now. That ball is hit over to Farley at second base, who came over and get them to walk on base. You think that could be a strategy that Kovac Shanley says so? As that third ball goes over to Ruberti in the third out of the inning. But it's only been one inning. They've had success early on, seeing how they will settle in now these next couple at bats. One, two count, Adi showed bunt. And she lines one right over the head of Nuss, but will stay foul. Kovac Shanley. And it looks like they're gonna have a quick discussion here between the umpires. Limpy with the pitch. And over to first base, McFadden squeezes that one. And the quick change there in momentum for what have been, would have been Adi at first now collecting the Ruberti launches one to left field, but George is there for out number two. Boats Manation. 3-2 count. And Destiny Nori has walked the second walk of the day for Mo Wimpy. And this is exactly what you need for the freshman from Land Lakes, Florida. George launches that over to Moy, over to McFadden, and out number three. See what they can do here. There's some powerful hitters. That one goes on the outfield. That ball's going back to the warning track, and it's out of here. Jones, 2-0 lead. Home run number eight of the season for Tyrena Jones. And that's what she does. Leads the team in home runs with eight. Lead start as Jones smacks that one out of here. Four hits already for the Boilermakers. A Cesaretta fouls that one this time. She's showing signs of bunt. And it's going to be ball number four. Ruck is struggling in the circle, Cole. Struggling a little bit. Again, just trying to settle in. You know, she's allowed four hits in the two. Lines went over to quarter cracks to turn two. And they do so. Oh, and Rodriguez now. She was walked in the first inning. And she was hit that time. Against Emily Ruck. Cracks now at second and short. 
That ball is going to go past quarter cracks. McFadden remains at third, and that's a single by Tyrena Jones in the inning. But now, see if they can further expand upon their lead. After the second inning. That ball's put in the fair play. One runner comes home. Two runners come home. And Ruberti had some trouble. Field. Boilermakers can do no wrong. Talk about Bailey. Fourth inning of yesterday's game has just been on fire. And another single. One run comes home. Is the second in time? It's not, but Purdue. Around couldn't quite beat the throw, but still Bacon able. Another runner. And ball number four. Dylan goes over to first, and George still at second. Just like that, we're at a little bit earlier in this inning as it was a line drive down left field. She'll take her base. So again, Jones comes up where she already homers. That ball is hit in the right field. Could it be a grand slam? Oh, it's off the wall. Wilkinson can't keep track of it. Two runners come home. And three runners. Big. And her first triple of the year is a three RB. With a 2-2 count and two outs. And Paulson gets out of the inning for the Buckeyes. Bottom of the third next. But and Farley takes that pitch to get on first base. So the Buckeyes have Farley over at first. And now Rodriguez will go to first. She gets hit. And two runners are on base. Way of count. And it's ball number four. Wimpy couldn't believe it. She thought that was going to be a strike call. But none. And quarter cracks. A huge opportunity here. Bottom of the third. Cracks. Quarter cracks over to second. Jones, it gets past her. Here comes Farley. And Rodriguez also caught that single. And the Buckeyes have their first hit of the day as it passed Jones. That ball is hit in the right field. Hackenbrack gets a single. One run comes home and Wilkinson takes. It's Ohio State striking back again. Down five now. And you set the round. Nine, ten runs between both sides as Adi sends one in the left field. Quarter cracks comes home. Hackenbrack's coming around third. She's coming home as well. And she is in time. Ohio. Got a turnaround for this Buckeye squad as they struggle the first two innings. And now. Ruberti puts that into play. Moy over to first base and McFadden and out number one. But Narski down the lane. And that ball is going to be a ball number four. First and third situation for Pinars. Caitlin Farley up to bat for the Buckeyes. The second best plenty of hitting to show. Farley's ball's a slow grounder over Nuss. The first base. And Purdue gets out of here for the Boilermakers. And a big swing and a miss. And Paulson has her second strike out of the day here in the top of the fourth. And now she just takes her base for the second time today. Being very patient against Lexi Paulson. It's worked out. So Ohio State with two outs already quickly get back on their pitching. Ball's hit in the shallow center field and Farley's there. For out number two, Ohio State Steve. And it's a big strikeout. Lexi Paulson ends the inning. And the Buckeyes needed that one. Rodriguez lines one in the center field. Dylan is there, though, to get out number one. That was a. Pinarski's pitch has Wilkinson, who lines one over to second. Jones. Does she get in time? And she does not. That did get her on base, though. And you have Wilkinson. And there we go. Wilkinson steals second base with ease. And that's her 12th. Molina steals third base. And Wilkinson is safe in time. Quarter cracks ball goes to Nuss over at first base and McFadden steps on time to get out now here. This time it's ball number four and Hackenbrack will go down to first base 
with Meg Adi up to bat now. Fourth inning. It's, you get to, it's a long inning from that third. Again, 12 combined runs. Her zone a little bit on the left-hand side, and she hits her, making it bases loaded for Ohio State, making that tying runner with Adi at Back at second, and Adi at first base. Ruberti puts one in the center field. One run comes home, and Molina Wilkinson is safe. One run game. Nori over to Cesaretta, throws it McFadden, and that's going to end the inning, but the Buckeyes. Ball's hit, and Rodriguez does a great job this time to bring it to. Here comes a full count again for Paulson against Moy. And Moy gets the best of Paulson for ball number four. Back to back at bat. Ropes one over the third. Bump over to first base and Rodriguez with a beautiful scoop. Ends the inning properly for the Buckeye. Anything that strike zone, she's going to have to will to take a hit. Bump goes to Moy, but the grounder is not in time as McFadden. Farley lines one over to Jones to first base in the second out of the inning in time. Rodriguez lines one to center field and Dillon can't get there in time. So a single just like that from the leadoff hitter. Depends. Okay. All right. Noted. 2-2 two -two count. Rodriguez is stealing. And she's out of here. Jones got the tag on perfect. Had a walk, but her last time up struck out, so... And she hits that one deep. Oh, and Cesaretta's ball is going back, and it's gone. Just like that, Purdue. Alex Cesaretta, home run number eight of the season. Number eight of the season, number two of the series. Again, gritting all the way. Six unanswered, Boilermakers back, putting up another one, expanding the. Paulson in relief after Ruck. That ball is going in foul territory, but Rodriguez gets the first out. Cool, just like that. Just like that, Nuss, four straight balls, will walk down to first and brings up Bailey, who's been dangerous today. Here comes the pitch from Paulson. Bailey right over to Farley, and no problem for Caitlin Farley at second base. Ends the top. Help, it helps, excuse me, having your top hitter. She hits it right back. Right past the Cesaretta, and she's safe, Wilkinson. That was a close one right now to elevate her Buckeyes team. And she gets hit by a pitch, so she can't really do much besides that. And that's all she needs to do, get on base. She's, she got walked in the first. and she Ball's outside. Wilkinson and corner cracks both advance to second and third base, respectively. And this is getting intense. Pushing him down three. Seeing if they can get three runners on. Balls outside and bases are loaded. Here comes Meg. She had a double in the third inning. And she puts one into play in the left field. Will be a sacrifice fly. Here comes Wilkinson to home plate. And the ball is loose. Quarter cracks. Not We're at third base. What could have been a double play for the Boiler. The ball and they've been able to do so. Ruberti's ball gets past the gap. Here comes quarter cracks. Lamone in time, and we have a tie game in Columbus for Ohio State, and it is a 9-9 game. Originally, in these two, it's been a fantastic game. A little bit here. Nori's ball in the right field, and just like that, Bailey's able to get the second out. 3-2 count. Way inside for Mackenzie Bump, and she'll go over to first base for another walk against a Cesaretta for Caitlin Farley with two runners on. Lynn with a full count. And it's going to be ball number four. Bases are loaded for the leadoff hitter. In what a big moment for both teams. A rally continue against a Cesaretta. Rodriguez puts one to left field. One run comes home. Two run comes home. And Ohio State has the first lead of the day. What a turnaround from the Buckeyes. Puts pressure on the Boilermakers, but still Molina Wilkinson 
up to the plate. The day. And what's been a long anticipated game, both runners advance to their respective bases and now Cole. Ball goes past, here comes Farley at home and she's in time. Buckeyes continue to add to their lead from Purdue's miscues. What a crazy game we have here at Buckeye Field. Wilkinson watches that one go by and here comes quarter cracks. First and third for quarter cracks. Runners on. Quarter cracks drills one over to third and McFadden steps on first in time. But here we go with the full count. Georgia's hit. Ruberti calls quarter cracks off in the first out of the inning. Two outs away from Ohio. Get on base for her team. Over to bump to Rodriguez. Out number two. And the Buckeye. Here we go. Swing and a miss and Allison Smith ends this game. The Buckeye storm back. Smith hugs it out with Lexi Paulson and the Buckeyes. Get a big time win at home run. Sixth inning with six runs. Did the justice. What a couldn't answer here to close it out. That rubber match, highly anticipated, coming up tomorrow as Purdue takes game one.